At least three people died and four were critically injured after a Mississippi bridge, in the process of being demolished, collapsed Wednesday afternoon while work was being conducted at the site, authorities said. The deaths and injuries were confirmed by Simpson County Sheriff Paul Mullins, WLBT-TV reported. The Simpson County Coroner's Office was responding to the scene but did not provide any additional details, WJTV-TV said. The Mississippi Department of Transportation, in a news release, said the bridge over the Strong River on State Route 149 in Simpson County, about 40 miles south of Jackson, has been closed to traffic since September 18 as part of a bridge replacement project handled by contractor T.L. Wallace Construction. Details of how the accident occurred were not immediately available. So what's our story for 9 and 10? Our business. A seven-year-old boy died and six others were injured following an explosion at a house in the UK, police said on Wednesday. Northumbria Police Superintendent Darren Adams told reporters that a seven-year-old boy passed away at the scene, despite efforts by emergency services. Six others were taken to hospital, with varying injuries, he added. Adams said an investigation is ongoing to establish the cause of the explosion and he appealed to anyone with information to contact the police. ...into Lebanon against the Lebanese militant group of Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. Hezbollah began firing rockets into Israel on October 8 in solidarity with the Palestinian militant group Hamas, following their surprise attack on southern Israel. Almost one year of low-level fighting has turned into all-out war and displaced some 1.2 million people in Lebanon. It is with great sadness that I stand in front of you today following the tragic death of a young child. As a result of the incident here in the early hours of this morning, a seven-year-old boy has sadly passed away. Despite the efforts of the emergency services, he tragically died at the scene. This is a truly devastating outcome. I have no doubt that the people of Elzig and Benwell and our wider region will want to join me in extending their thoughts and condolences to family and friends. The loss and pain they must be suffering is unimaginable. The boys' loved ones are being supported by specialist officers and we would ask that their privacy be respected at this time. I can confirm six people were taken to hospital with varying injuries. A number of people were also evacuated and are being supported by our colleagues from Newcastle City Council. We are working with our partners and the community to ensure all those who may have been in the area at the time are safe. An investigation is ongoing to establish how the explosion occurred. These inquiries are still at a very early stage and in the coming hours and days we will continue uh, to piece together what has happened so we can provide answers to the family as well as the wider community. We would appeal to anyone who has any information about what has happened to contact us. Columns of smoke were seen rising in the Gaza Strip on Wednesday, as Israeli military tanks patrolled the border area in southern Israel. Israel is still at war in Gaza more than a year after Hamas attack, in which some 1,200 people were killed, mostly civilians, and another 250 were abducted. Around 100 captives are still being held in Gaza, about a third of whom are believed to be dead. 
Israel has been carrying out a major operation for more than a week in Jabalia, an urban refugee camp in northern Gaza dating back to the 1948 war surrounding Israel's creation. Israeli forces have repeatedly returned to Jabalia and other areas after saying that Hamas militants had regrouped. Hospitals have received around 350 bodies since the offensive there began on OC6, according to Dr. Monir al bursh the Director General of Gaza's Health Ministry. He told the Associated Press that more than half the dead were women and children, and that many bodies remain in the streets and under the rubble, with rescue teams unable to reach them because of Israeli strikes. Entire families have disappeared, he said. Israel's offensive in Gaza has killed over 42,000 people, according to the health ministry, which does not say how many were fighters but says more than half were women and children. The offensive has left large areas in ruins and displaced around 90% of Gaza's population of 2.3 million people, forcing hundreds of thousands into crowded tent camps or schools turned shelters.